As the new college basketball season begins to take shape, we're starting to see some of this year's breakout stars emerge. One of these stars is Illinois forward and Texas Tech transfer Terrence Shannon Jr. After spending three years in Lubbock, Shannon opted to hit the transfer portal for his fourth and presumably last collegiate season, where he ultimately ended up at Illinois. And funnily enough, this is exactly where his career began. TJ Shannon spent his high school career at Lincoln Park High School in Chicago, Illinois. He was a stellar two-sport athlete in basketball and football, and it was actually his play on the gridiron that initially garnered college interest. As the 6'6 wide receiver hauled in 10 touchdowns for a team that won its division back in 2018. Still, Shannon prioritized basketball, but after concluding his senior season without a single Division I scholarship offer, he decided to take a prep year at IMG Academy to further enhance his recruiting stock. And in March of 2019, he finally decided to attend Texas Tech and play for then head coach Chris Beard. In his three years at Texas Tech, Shannon averaged 11 points, 3.6 rebounds, and 1.4 assists per game while shooting 46% from the field and 37% from three. He was also an extremely reliable defender who uses athleticism and strong frame to disrupt players of all sizes. As a 6'6 wing who shot 37% from three and played good defense, naturally, Shannon had NBA interest from the jump, and it looked like he was going to leave college basketball for the professional ranks multiple times. In fact, Shannon's several flirtatious bouts with the NBA draft resembled some of the best will-they-won't-they they scenarios of all time. After a sophomore year that saw him average 13 points a game on impressive shooting splits, Shannon declared for the 20 2021 NBA draft, but he elected to come back to Lubbock for his junior year to improve his stock. Despite starting the 2021-22 season with first-round buzz, Shannon struggled on a multitude of fronts in what was ultimately a disappointing year. Due to an eligibility issue, Shannon had to miss the first three games of the season, and he ended up missing an additional eight games due to a back injury. When he was on the floor, Shannon didn't look like his sophomore form. While he shot better from the field as a junior, he scored less points per game, had more turnovers, and wasn't as intense of a defender or a rebounder. He was also playing for a new head coach in Mark Adams, and had to deal with a roster that looked drastically different than the year prior. All in all, Shannon just didn't have the breakout season NBA scouts were hoping for. Shannon elected to leave Texas Tech in favor of transferring, which obviously led him to Brad Underwood into fighting Illini, and let me tell you, he looks like a totally different player. In his first five games as an Illini, TJ Shannon has undergone something of a renaissance. The senior is averaging 21.2 points, 6.8 rebounds, and 4 assists per game, and he's shooting close to 55% from the floor and nearly 49% from three. He's still getting it done on the defensive end, where he's getting one and a half stocks a game so far, and for the first time in his career, Career, he's posting an assist to turnover ratio better than one. What's also impressive about this statistical leap that Shannon has taken is that he's doing it while posting the highest usage rate of his career at around 28%. For reference, Shannon's usage hovered around 23% for his first three seasons, but Illinois has relied on him to take initiative on offense and be their main shot creator, something that he has clearly taken seriously. Let's first take a look at Shannon's scoring. At Texas Tech, Shannon's career high in 83 games played came in 2019 when he scored 24 points in a victory at DePaul, the school which he was initially committed to out of high school. In his first five games at Illinois, Shannon has already matched or exceeded that total three times. He scored 24 points in Illinois' season opener against Eastern Illinois, he dropped a career-high 30 points in a win against Monmouth, and 29 in that crazy game against UCLA. Shannon has looked a lot more sound and confident as an outside shooter. While his 49% three-point mark is certainly skewed by his 8 of 9 performance against UCLA where he decided to be a human torch for 40 minutes, there is something to be said by just how willing he is to take these shots. Shots. The level of diversity on these three-pointers is something to monitor as well. Early in his career, most of Shannon's threes came off of catch-and-shoot opportunities, but in his short time at Illinois, he's shown an increased comfort in shooting off movement and off the dribble, which is something that bodes well for his NBA hopes. Here, Shannon will use a ball screen and then cross over and get his feet set before knocking down the contested three. Outside of his shooting, though, TJ's ball handling has also massively improved. Early in his career, Shannon developed a reputation for being more reliant on his left hand than Clayton Kershaw. The kid just wouldn't go right under any circumstances. And as a result, it became easier for opposing defenses to force him into uncomfortable situations that led to him turning the ball over often. While it's still clear he's a lefty through and through, Shannon has been able to add legitimate shake and craft to his handle, making him more difficult for defenses to contain. This play here blends the old and new Terrence Shannon Jr. to perfection. He's going to burn his defender in the open floor by using a sweet in and out crossover, but then, even though he's on the right side of the floor, he's going to try and finish the layup with his left hand. And while he does get fouled here, he could have made his life easier by going up with his right. 
Combined with his already elite burst and physicality, Shannon's improved handle allows him to be an even more efficient finisher at the rim. It's obviously a small sample, but TJ Shannon is currently shooting 72.7% .7 at the rim, which is a number that would be a season high for his career. And if he can get downhill more consistently while also cutting down on turnovers, the path to becoming one of college basketball's best scorers becomes a lot more visible. While his scoring is perhaps his most eye-catching improvement, TJ Shannon has also undergone a total transformation as a passer. As more of an on-ball presence for the Illini, he has relished opportunities to showcase his improved passing vision and find teammates for open shots, something he wasn't necessarily comfortable doing at Texas Tech. Watch this perfectly executed pick and roll with freshman Ty Rogers. Shannon uses the screen and turns the corner and then draws the lower level defender to find an open Rogers for an easy layup. And again, his improved handle plays a massive role in this area as well, as Shannon is better able to break down defenses and take advantage of the ensuing scramble to find the open player. So what does this leap mean for Illinois? Well, for one thing, I wouldn't expect to see TJ Shannon here for very long. At his current trajectory, it looks like TJ Shannon is finally going to be able to sneak his way into the first round of the NBA draft. Secondly, Shannon's emergence as a go-to scorer and impact defender raises the floor of this Illinois team significantly. I saw them as a fringe top 20 team heading into the year, but after watching Shannon and the rest of the roster operate, this looks more like a top 10 team. Illinois' supporting cast featuring guys like Coleman Hawkins, Matthew Meyer, and Dane Danger is also good enough to support Shannon's growth without taking away from it, and striking the balance between letting Shannon cook and getting everyone else involved should be the key to a successful season, and it's a balance they've done a good job of finding early on. So, after not getting a Division I offer out of high school, having to take a prep year at IMG Academy, and impressing as a sophomore but stagnating as a junior at Texas Tech, it at last looks like the Illinois version of TJ Shannon has finally taken the leap. Thanks so much for watching and give me your thoughts below.